Now, welcome to another edition of Battle of the Heroes and Villains, where this time we'll be taking a look at the results of the poll for Mara Jade, or Mara Jade Skywalker. We'll then compare those results to all the other characters we've done thus far, before I then read and respond to some of your comments. But before we get to any and all of that, you can already head down to nominate and or vote for which character we do next. Just respond to my pinned comment below with a character name, or vote with a thumbs up if the one you'd like to see is already listed. Whatever comment gets the most votes in the next 24 hours or so will be the winner. Alright, and now on to the results for Mara Jade, where we'll see that 27% of voters gave her an A, 44% then thought she was B tier material, 18% then said she was a C, which left 3% to give her a D, and a final 8% that gave her an F. And so when we do all the math here and consider A a score of 5 and F a score of 1, Mara Jade ends up with an average score of 3.79, which ties her with General Grievous, but since she got more of a percentage of first place votes, and that's how we do tiebreakers, she ends up in 31st place overall. Quite a bit lower than I thought and hoped she'd finish. Since I am personally quite a big fan of the character, she is easily one of my favorite characters from the Expanded Universe. And so to dig a bit deeper into that score and the character herself, let's get to the comments, but not before very quickly saying thank you to everyone who does vote, comment, and watches the videos. It's all very much appreciated, and it's great that we now have a top 35 compiled. Anyway, let's then start, as we always do, with the top-rated comment, which this time came to us from Darth Cadis, who said, Mara Jade Skywalker is a S-tier character, if there even was a thing. There's a reason people speak so highly of her. Not only was she an assassin for the Emperor, she was a smuggler and then a Jedi. She showed compassion at times to certain people that were in trouble against the Empire. Which was quite odd coming from someone working with the Sith. With her destined to kill Luke, she developed feelings towards him, leading to both of them getting married and had a son, Ben. Being the first badass Force user female, aside from Leia in the Thrawn trilogy and in the Yuuzhan Vong Wars. I was rooting for her every time, plus she went through enormous amounts of training to be the best. Well said, and a lot of great points here all around, and I especially agree with one of the last ones you made there about how you were rooting for her every time, because I was also the same way from the very start, from the first time I read Heir to the Empire, and we were introduced to her. There was just something about her that I liked and wanted to root for and wanted to see her come to the good side. And those are always some of my favorite types of characters, those who start out as quote-unquote bad guys that a lot of the time you initially don't like at all, but then you start to see something in them, you start to feel for them, you start to understand them more and more, and suddenly you're on their side wanting the best for them despite their past and the fact that they oftentimes keep making mistakes. And one of the best recent examples of this that I've come across was a couple years ago when I watched Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time and was introduced to Zuko. And honestly, I started out pretty much hating him and thinking he was just a D-bag, if you will. But by the end, he was easily my favorite character, and his relationship with his uncle was incredible. One of the best stories I've seen anywhere, really. And in some ways, maybe it is similar to the relationship between Luke and Mara, where one person has so much belief in the other that it really helps bring about the change. Though, like I said, with Mara, I liked her from the very start. From her first encounter with Luke, there was just something about her. Alright, and kind of going along with this, we have this comment here from Caleb Voshnock, who said, Mara Jade Skywalker has one of the most endearing character arcs I've ever seen. The conflict between good and evil within her is a case study of the soul of Star Wars. She's strong and stubborn, flawed and fascinating, and courageous and complex. The love put into creating her is obvious. If there was a rank higher than A, that's what I'd give her. We also then have this one from Just Caleb, who said, I recently read the OG Thrawn trilogy for the first time, and holy crap, Mara was the single greatest redemption arc I have ever experienced. By the end, she and Luke seemed like the perfect fit for each other. A+. Couldn't agree more here. Redemption is obviously one of those things at the very core or heart and soul of Star Wars, and Mara's story is right up there with the one at the very center of it all with Anakin's story. I mean, Mara has one of the best, most complete stories in all of Star Wars, actually. And she literally goes from being raised by the Emperor, raised by the most evil guy who's maybe ever existed, and then she becomes Hand of the Emperor, or one of the Hands of the Emperor, and eventually, after the Emperor's death, is hellbent on fulfilling his final wish and command, which is to kill Luke Skywalker. But she goes from that to one day actually becoming a Jedi herself, and marrying none other than Luke Skywalker, and they even have a child together. 
And that kind of 180 degree turn for a character is not easy to pull off in a believable way. And yet, that's exactly what they did with her. Alright, and all this then kind of brings us to this comment from MCU Fanboy 2008 who said, A. She's such a great character, watching her change from Palpatine's agent to the wife of Luke Skywalker, one of the best character arcs from the EU in my opinion. Maybe it's for the better that they didn't put her in the new canon. And this is kind of a tricky topic that I can or could have sort of gone either way on, bringing Mara into the new Disney canon, I mean. Because at this point, I don't know where or how she'd even fit in unless she was radically changed from her original version, or pretty much a different character with some vague similarities, like probably just red hair and that she used to be a Hand of the Emperor. But with little or none of the interactions with Luke, or with different interactions with Luke, that don't lead to the same results or changes or progressions in the character. And if that's the case, if she's really only Mara Jade in name only, then I don't want that. I don't want the knockoff or Walmart version that lacks many of the aspects that made her story great originally. And honestly, if they were going to bring her in, I wish they would have, well, I wish they would have done it originally and made her a part of the sequels. But I think I would have been maybe okay with her being the explanation or part of the explanation for Luke in The Last Jedi. That if Luke had seen in Ben's mind that fateful night, that it was perhaps a vision of the past that he didn't know of Ben being the one who murdered Mara Jade and maybe their son, who I guess wouldn't be named Ben in this case, since for some reason Han and Leia named their son Ben. But anyway, if Luke saw that his nephew had murdered his wife and son, I could buy his initial reaction, I could see a reaction like the one he had, but I still don't know that I could see him sitting around and sulking for years and doing nothing about it. Alright, and next up here we have this comment from Eli Vanto who said, I think the only reason she's receiving low scores is because many people don't know who she is, but they should. She's one of the best crafted characters in the EU, A from me. Then there's also this one from Legends of Star Wars who said, I call those giving her Fs trolls trying to tank her score. You either love Mara Jade or you don't know anything about her neither of which warrant an F. And call me a bit biased here, but I do have to agree that 8% F seems pretty high, and she really is one of those characters where, if you truly know her, it's hard to justify such a low score unless you really just don't like her for some reason, which is fine, I guess. But even still, you have to acknowledge she had a great story. And yeah, there were a lot of comments that said they didn't really know who she was or didn't know enough about her where they felt like they could or should vote. So I don't really know what the deal is with all those Fs. Anyway, let's now move on to this comment from Erica Jade who said, Mara Jade is my second favorite character in the entire franchise, with Luke taking the top spot, but maybe for a different reason than most fans. She, in a way, literally saved my life. I discovered Zahn's original trilogy or Thrawn trilogy books not too long after when I was working through some very difficult emotional trauma, and her character storyline became nothing short of an inspiration for me. To me, she is a symbol of transformation and of how you are and can be more than the sum of your past. Her whole life before meeting Luke was defined and controlled by Palpatine, and she never knew anything else beyond the narrative and the identity he had created for her. Seeing how she was finally able to realize the truth and break free of both his influence and the hold that her past had over her life, was and still is so incredibly empowering to me. For me, her story sends a powerful message that no matter what circumstances you came from, no matter what people may have done to hurt you or control you, no matter what you yourself may have done, that does not have to define the rest of your life. You have the opportunity and the power to create a better future for yourself. And if you lose your way, you won't have to go it alone. There will be people like Luke in the world who will be able to look past all of those scars and see you for the person you truly are, and the person you can become. And that was one of the best comments I've ever read in my time doing this, and I've read a lot of comments in that time. And I couldn't agree more, and it reminds me of a saying that I once heard, that we are more than the worst thing we've ever done. Because the truth is, we're all going to make mistakes. At some point, we're all going to intentionally or unintentionally hurt other people, and oftentimes, those we care about the most. Human beings are flawed creatures that are going to screw up all the time, and what's important is learning from those mistakes and growing as a person from them, while also trying to have compassion and understanding when others do wrong or hurt us, to be empathetic. Which is not to say that there aren't some things or acts that don't go too far, there are some actions, especially more egregious ones, that 
will require repercussions. But nowadays, it seems like we're way too eager to condemn people as if we ourselves are perfect. And look, one thing I absolutely love about Star Wars is that there's always a choice. That it doesn't matter what you've done before, you can still turn it around. You can always still choose to do what is right. That's Mara Jade's story in a nutshell. And as I said earlier, I'm a bit of a sucker for characters who start out as the quote-unquote bad guy, but manage to turn it around. They always make for some of the best stories. Alright, and now let's get to a few final comments here before wrapping it up. Starting with this one from Bill the Destroyer of Worlds, who said, She is one of Timothy Zahn's greatest creations for the Star Wars universe, right up there with Grand Admiral Thrawn. And of course, she is such a great creation that Zahn was able to get approval to have Luke Skywalker, the hero of the original trilogy, marry her to universal fan approval as well. In fact, one of the most controversial things done in the expanded universe was killing her off. She is how to do a strong female character correctly, and as such, she deserves an A. Next then, this comment from Diamond360 who said, She had one of the greatest character arcs in Star Wars. She was an Emperor's Hand, then a smuggler, then the wife of the most powerful Jedi ever in Legends timeline. She got to be Vader, Han, and Luke all rolled into one. She is the definition of a strong female lead, an absolute A in my book, and I never deal in absolutes. Also then we have this one from Kay Conroy who said, She has charisma equal to Han, quick on the ball wit that rivals Leia, and tenacity the likes of Anakin. The perfect Star Wars character in my opinion, A plus for me. Next up then we have this comment from Sinista Voices who said, A solid A. Please stop the nonsense. Choices of One is my favorite Star Wars novel. It would make a great movie. Matter of fact it fits in with the Mandalorian universe perfectly. Then we have this comment from Tyrannosaurus Rex, who said, I'm currently reading through the old EU for the first time, and every story she shows up in instantly gets ten times more interesting. And finally here we have this comment from Captain Axeman, who said, A, she's one of the best characters in Star Wars Legends, having a dark background, but slowly redeeming herself eventually to become a hero, and her death was really tragic. One thing I dislike about her is that we didn't get to see more of her. She's Luke's wife, love of his life, and mother to his children, she did give her life for her family, a true mother's sacrifice. And yet again, couldn't agree more. She has one of the best and most complete stories in all of Star Wars, and it's a shame we didn't get more of her, that we didn't see her brought into the new Disney canon before it kind of ran out of room for her, or where we just can't get the same stories between her and Luke anymore. And though she is one of my favorite characters all around, I don't want to see her brought into the new canon just to try and appease fans of her, because at this point, it'll likely do the opposite. It'll likely just frustrate me that we didn't get to see the real Mara Jade. But thankfully, we can always still go back and read her stories in Legends. Well, that's all I've got for you this time. Now it's your turn to tell me what you think of Mara Jade, or what I or anyone else had to say about her in this video. You can also nominate and or vote for which character we do next. Either way, leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.